Hey everybody, it's Tim from the Train Club in uh, Schultz's Mod Shop. Uh, here to talk about my modular layout that uh, I've been trying to work up for this show. We've been working on this for a few years now. Uh, and I really want to push that we're trying to get members for the Buell Club group. Uh, and this is a good way to get into it. Uh, because I know a lot of people talk, oh, I don't have space for a layout, layouts are expensive, uh, you know, what am I going to do, how do I get started, stuff like that, and it's really a lot easier than people think it would be, um, especially if you work in a modular setting. Say you don't have the space for a traditional 4x8 plywood board layout, that's fine. These modules each measure one and a half feet by three feet, 18 inches by 36 inches, you know, corner to corner, edge to edge. That's all they are. They're really, they're actually very small. Uh, and then my yard modules, which nobody needs to worry about those because I got them covered, uh, they're three feet by three feet to make them just real nice and easy, uh, you know, get a lot of trains and a lot of track. But end scale, so end scale, that's what I'm running here. Uh, it's very small, doesn't take up a whole lot of space, you don't got to do a whole lot with it. Uh, but it can be incredibly detailed. I mean, you look at some of these, they're very detailed models, and these are actually old models. These aren't even the new, you know, rivet counting, you know, nonsense that they got now. Uh, but then I got micro machines down here. They fit just fine. A lot of people go, oh, they're, they're not to scale. Well, you know what, they're close enough. Close enough for me. But anyway, so modulars, they're really simple. They really are. And it's its really nice and easy. And the, the huge thing is here, I have 26 of these things that are just waiting for scenery. As I say, your ideas right here. Anything you want to do. So here I am. I'm going to show you guys some possibilities. And it's really simple. So take this module, for example. Very simple. Now, the one thing, this is all demonstrative purposes, you know, nothing, nothing's held down. But when we go to, when I go to do these, what we're going to do is I have corners that I bought from another club. And they have a standard, it's three tracks wide. And they go, I, I don't remember the dimensions offhand, but it's, you know, two inches from the edge, three inches and four inches, something like that. And as long as this end and this end both have the tracks at those two three and four inch spots anything that happens in here is free game like i said I, you know you have a switch in here simple as a little freight house if you want you know if you want to do something a little more say you want to build a steel mill but a steel mill won't fit in three feet well that's fine I will gladly give you two, two, three, whatever four, you know, footprint you need. And say, you know, for your for your steel mill, it'll start here, and then the the mains will stay. Or say you want the steel mill up front, you want the mains to kind of disappear back here, so they would weave in this way. And you're like, well, that won't work because then, oh no, I don't have enough space. Well, if you have two, three modules, you can keep the mains running back here and have all of your interest up here. Trains wouldn't be running up here. Maybe if you want to switch around or do switching or, or just operate the industry or just detail the crap out of it. You know, you can do that. And then when you get to this end, as long as the tracks meander the way back and go one, two, three to meet up with the rest of the modules, you're good to go. It's really simple. Now, say... You know, and I, and I have an example here just for that purpose. Say you want to have, oh, I want to make it look like a mountain. I want to make it look like a valley. But, you know, how do I do that? Well, it's, it's this simple. With this setup I have, you know, the boards all sit right at the same height, more or less. Now, like I said, th there is a little difference here. I just, again, did this for demonstrative purposes. This one is not folded together yet. Um, but so you've got your frame side, the board, 
and the foam board here. And the foam board gives you that space. So even if you want to have a flat and you just want it like a little culvert, you know, maybe a little dip down, maybe, a, you know, this comes down, there's a road down here. You can carve this foam away with a knife or a wire cutter, you know, a hot wire cutter or a, a file or something. You can shape all this and get yourself a little bit of texture and movement in this. And then I say that to pull you into this. So same same thing. These don't have to be square and blocky. This is just a starting point. You come in here and you could carve this down into this nice valley and a river and you pour some clear resin with some Mod Podge and put some kayaks down here or something. Get some white water if you want. It could be slow moving. You could have guys fishing off the piers. You could have people swing off. You know, you could have a rope bridge or a rope swing off the bridge and people swing it across. I don't recommend doing that off a railroad bridge. Don't even make it seem like I encourage that because I didn't. But you could do those things. Uh, you could do like right here where this is just a, a false line. It would just come across to make it look like, oh, there's an interchange of some kind. You don't even have to have trains here. You could just, oh, look at that. You know, it's a, it's a, a place where trains would cross underneath. And with us with me using the two inch foam here sorry if I'm getting a little close but I'm using the two inch foam that's the standard rule you want to have about two inches from the railhead to the bottom of your bridges for proper clearance so say you do want something to cross under here say you have a little run around trolley or something you want to have under here absolutely as long as you keep those two inches using this foam properly we're not going to have any issues it'll be great but yeah and continue on and do your thing and then look at it but see all we did was drop from here to here we give you that much more depth you got because this is that same foam board same as right here we just built up on it or like over here if you want to build up on this let me take a couple pieces here say you want to build up on this and say hey i want some buildings on a on a hill over here well, now you got your own little overlook you know, it's it's really simple. There, there's really nothing holding you back. It's it's all down to your imagination. Now, imagination. That's the other key to my modular, to this setup that I'm doing. Because I'm not one to be like, well, I only want to model 1990 to 1995 Conrail merger, you know, whatever. I don't even think those are the right dates. Because that's not what I do. I like, as you can tell, and if you've seen my displays before, I like to do a little bit of everything. I like to model the Bessemer. That's one of my main focuses. But I like steam. I like passenger trains. I like freight. I got my whole collection of Thomas the Tank Engine that I'm building. You know, I've got Back to the Future scene down here. I've got a skull cave. I bought this at uh, Walmart out of the aquarium supplies. I mean, and then of course, this is a giant robot climbing under through the river. Uh, I've had Star Wars. I have ideas for a, a zombie apocalypse module. I have uh, a D&D &D themed module I kind of want to do. There's, I have so many ideas rolling around in my head. I just don't have the time, the patience, or, you know, well, mostly the time and the patience to do it. So I'm reaching out to all you guys. If you want to become a member of the club and you want to work on the modular and part you know be part of the show and say you don't have a lot you know say you don't have any end scale trains that's fine as you can tell I've got more than enough to, to if you just want to come in and run some trains I would be more than happy to have you you know come and participate and just get an idea of what you want to do and then if you buy a train at some point and you want something to run it on here you go now, mind you, you won't have a whole lot of space on a modular to run it, but when showtime comes around, or if we get the club together to do uh, a running session, we can absolutely organize that. Because I am all about the hobby. The hobby is everything. Uh, but, you know, again, I said, you know, cost. What does this cost? That's the kicker. It costs you nothing. Because... I have the track, I have the scenery, I have the modules, I have 26 of these, 
three I'll be keeping for the yard entrance, you know, that I won't be doing. Those are hard. I will, I'll be doing those myself. I may do a couple more, but that still leaves me with over 20 of these things to complete. I don't want to do all 20 of them. I'd love to. I don't, I'll never get them done. So, for the, the exchange of you completing a module in your image, I will give you the module, the track, and whatever scenery items I have that you want to use, they're... come grab them. Come grab them. Absolutely. Not before the show. You know, show is in two months. We're not going to do that. But after the show, you want to build a, a modular? You want to give it a shot? All I ask is that you put it together and you bring it to the show. That's all I ask. You know, don't, you know, up and disappear with it. Like, that is my only request. And if if you do want to keep it, and say you move, like my one buddy, he moved down to North Carolina. Say you want the module, and you decide you want to keep it. You know, give me a fair price. But I'm not worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is getting these things done. So that we can all enjoy the hobby, and this is a great entry point. For free. I said, you don't have to have trains. You don't have to have anything. All we need is your ideas and a little bit of time and patience. Anything you need help with, we are absolutely here to give you a hand. So, absolutely, give it a shot, see what you want to do. Modulars are an amazing entry point into the hobby, and I'm here to offer them. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Uh, and you can get a lot done on a very small budget. Mm -hmm. Heck, I've been running on felt. No scenery for the last, what, six years now. Something like that. So you don't have to do a whole lot about it. Just enjoy the hobby. Put something together, put some track down, and if you don't put some track down, still, bring it to the show with whatever scenery stuff you want. We'll put it out there for display. It'll be a great time. Run some trains, enjoy the hobby, on a budget. So, have a good one. Hopefully see you guys at the show, and hopefully see you guys at the club, and in our, you know, and you join up, and we have a good time with friends. See ya. Visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Buell Model Train Society and Schultz's Mod Shop, and on our website, www.buellmodeltrainsociety.com.